Hi, today our topic is USA mortgage loan. Today I will explain to you very easy process for uh, getting the mortgage loan in USA. Actually, first of all, uh, we have to keep 10 points in our mind to mortgage loan process. First of all, actually the thing is that while finding a new home uh, can be exciting. Navigating the mortgage process can be overwhelming for some. Knowing what steps you need to take can help to the process go more smoothly. Once you have an accepted offer, here what you need to know to make sure your mortgage application stays on track. For the application submitting, 10 things we have to keep in our mind. First of all, you have to submit your application. As you can see on the screen, submit your application. Now that you have found the home you want to buy and a lender to work with the mortgage process. Begin. At this stage, your lender will have you fill out a full application and ask you to supply documentation relating to your income, debts and assets. This is the first step. You have to submit your application. Views. The second point is order a home inspection. Then second steps schedule a home inspection. Uh, in home inspection as soon as you can. Doing so will give you adequate time before your closing date. Then negotiate with the seller if the inspection reveals any unforeseen issues. After that, in third step, be responsive to your lender. Keep in mind, be responsible to your lender. If you applied and qualify for a mortgage, you shall receive confidential approval. After getting the approval at that stage, your lender may require additional documentations. Make sure to respond prominently to keep your application moving forward. We was in fourth point, what we have to do, purchase homeowner's insurance. Your lender will require proof of insurance before the loan can receive final approval. After that, in five, fifth step, what we have to do, let the process, process play out. Know what's happening behind the scene. Your lender will order a home appraisal to ensure that the value of the home you are buying is in line with the purchase price. Actually, uh, the appraiser will visit the home and compare it to other recently sold homes in a similar price range. Your lender will also order a little search to make sure there are no outstanding lines on the property. When you follow this point, then go to the sixth point. The sixth point is like avoiding taking on new debt. While your loan is in process, avoid opening new credit cards or making other major financial changes. New loans are other changing that affect your debt to income ratio could get in the way of your mortgage approval. After that, we can go to the next step like lock in your rate. If you haven't already logged in your interest rate with your lender, you shall want to do so. Actually, your rate must be locked in no later than 10 days prior to your closing date. Viewers, the next step, we have to go review your documentations. 
Once your loan is approved and your inspection, appraisal and the search are complete, your lender will set a closing date and he'll let you know exactly how much money you shall need to bring to your closing. After that, after uh, follow the eight points, viewers, we have to go to the point number nine. In point number nine, simple is that arrange to pay your down payment and closing costs because down payment is also very important. When you apply the loan, first of all, you have to keep in your mind that we have to pay the down payment and you shall need to get a cashier check or arrange to wire money to cover your down payment and closing cost. After that, in the last point, what we have to do? In last point, close on your home. At the closing, be sure to rail all the documents you receive and ask any questions you may have about the terms of the agreement. Then after, you shall sign everything you can unlock the door and celebrate your new home. Viewers, you see that I explained the 10 points. If you will follow the 10 points, then easily you can get the loan. Even an agreement that mortgage means an agreement that allows you to borrow money from a bank or a similar organization, especially in order to buy a house or the amount of money itself. And there is uh, many types of the mortgage like uh, conventional loan, conforming loan, non-conforming loans, like that. In conventional loans, conventional loans are not backed by the federal government and they come into two package, packages, conforming and non-conforming. Conforming means at the same implies a conforming loan confirms to a set of standards put in place by the Federal Housing Finance Agency FHFA. And the second thing is that non-confirming loans. So this is opposite of the confirming loan. And jumbo loan. Jumbo loan is also very important that jumbo mortgage are approximately named. These are loans that fall outside FHFA limits. Jumbo loans are more common in higher cost areas such as Los Angeles, San Francisco, New York City and the state of Hawaii. On third, government insured loan, there is also important the US government isn't mortgage lender but it does play a role in helping more Americans become home owners. Three government agencies back mortgage, the Federal Housing Administration, FHA loans, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA loans, and the U.S. Department of Affairs, VA loans. And other loans is fixed rate mortgage. Fixed rate mortgage maintain the same interest rate over the life of your loan, which means your monthly mortgage payment always stays the same. Fixed loans typically come in terms of 15 years or 30 years although some lands, lenders allow borrowers to pick any terms between 8 and 30 years. Another one is adjustable rate mortgage ARM. This is also very important unlike the stability of the fixed rate loans adjustable rate mortgage have fluctuating interest rate that can go up or down with the market conditions. Many ARM products have a fixed interest rate for few years before the loan changes are to a variable interest rate of the reminder of the of the term example like there is many many things so viewers these first of all explain in 10 points when you apply for the mortgage loans so these points are very very important if you will follow one by one all 10 points then i'm sure 100 percent that you will uh, you will not face any difficulty to getting the uh, mortgage loans and um, meanwhile I explain different type of the loans and uh, you can choose your loan as per your uh, necessity then um, and with along with all these things you have keep your prepared your all the documents which I explained in my previous video uh, because when you will go to the lenders or the bank sure they will ask you about your basic necessary documents so we were in the, my next video, I will explain to you that 
that the about the many many things about the loan thank you thank you so much